Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Back with another Hanayama puzzle called Cast Cyclone. I think this is the latest Hanayama puzzle that was released. It's as usual a disassembly reassembly puzzle, contains four parts that need to be separated. Difficulty rating by Hanayama is level five or five stars. My personal difficulty, I would rate this one four out of a maximum of five. And the designer of this puzzle is Kyo Wong. You heard this name before because he designed also the cast Trinity, if you remember this one. Very tricky puzzle. Excellently designed and a lot of fun to figure out how this one works. I think this is kind of a level 10 puzzle, I'm not sure, but this one is definitely like level 10, also designed by Kyo Wong called Cast Rotor. Never showed it on my channel if you would like to see me solving it or not solving it, but showing the solution to this one and give you a detailed description. Just let me know in the comments. And this is also what I'm gonna do today. I solved this puzzle already and from my point of view solving these Hanayama puzzles is not really something for life solving because it's a lot of fiddling and in the end somehow the parts come apart and no one who watched the video has an idea how I did it, <laughs> even not myself. So I solved this thing for like, I don't know, 20 times in the meanwhile and now I'm able to show you a very detailed and precise way, reliable way how to solve it without any luck, without any fiddling or nah, a little bit fiddling is sometimes required. Ahead, yes, but it works pretty good I think for the disassembly and reassembly and this is what I would like to show you today because I think a lot of people even if they solved it one time struggle to do it another time because as I said there's a lot of fiddling involved if you are not doing it the right way but it's actually possible without with some practice so today is a solution video but I definitely recommend you watching it because this is a pretty impressive puzzle Kyo Wong designed here absolutely recommendable and after spoiler break you can see my personal way to solve it. I just zoomed in a bit that you can see precisely what I'm doing because this is not too big this puzzle and there are a lot of details on the parts you need to notice to solve it okay so so basically four rings with each ring with an opening two of these rings are called cyclone here the golden one as well as another one this one here also cyclone and two are called Hanayama. What's important to notice is that the two cyclone pieces are exactly the same. They are 100% the same as well as the two Hanayama. So you can assume that two cyclone pieces come from the same cavity in the tool as well as the two Hanayama pieces. And by the way, after this disassembly and reassembly practice, I have actually no idea if this is exactly orientated as in a delivery condition or somehow else. But still, you will understand for the disassembly very precise, I think, how I'm doing it. This is more important than having the exact same configuration. Even if some parts are twisted around, it will work the same way for you. Enough of that. I thought a long time on how to define a starting position because you can twist these things pretty much everywhere and you probably want to follow my solving process maybe with your own sample therefore i decided to take one hanayama piece with the opening up and one with the opening down here and then putting the cyclone piece to the right side and the other cyclone piece to the left side and i think this looks pretty good okay so hanayama piece opening over here and another opening over here cyclone over there and the other cyclone over here so now from this position, I twist this golden cyclone piece inwards. And the key is here to understand that I would like to align this edge here of the cyclone piece with this notch in here. Very important detail. And this is the only way I've found to be able to separate it really without any fiddling. Then on the other side, I do the same. I twist in the cyclone piece. I twist in this, this piece here that this notch over there will align this time with this edge on the cyclone piece. I twist it around because from here it's better visible what I tried to do. Here we go. And if you do so, you just saw it, the pieces will just drop inside of the center if they're properly aligned. And then I can just take out and separate them, but only until a certain level, only until here, okay? Um, to do it completely, I need to twist again these two Hanayama pieces, to line the pieces again, this time the edges of these pieces, so you can see how this edge here fits perfectly inside of the notch, same as this one over here. And now I can separate a little bit wider 
or further, but not completely. And the trick is I need to push it downwards slightly to line it properly. Then pull it and then it's right, the dimension is just right to take it out without any pressure, without any fiddling or anything. So then two pieces are now separated from each other, the two cyclone pieces. And now I'll continue with the golden one. So I twist this one down here and I want to separate it now from this one, okay? So this one I take out of the middle because I need the space. So cyclone piece, Hanayama piece. And I get this now inside here, okay? Like so. I will not be able to twist it enough to get it out there. Therefore I need to twist again this piece here. And again, the notch is the key because I would like to get this edge here of the cyclone piece, uh, yeah, of the golden cyclone piece, again aligned with this edge on the Hanayama piece. And if I do so, do this properly, I will be able to align them. Here we go. Okay, no force and try to pull them apart. It's not possible to pull them completely apart. So I twist it again, align the notch all, all again here with this edge of the golden piece. So these notches are really the key here. Yeah? And then I will be able to take it apart. I can twist it over, take it out, first bit out. The other ones are all connected to each other. So now I will continue with the cyclone piece again. This time with this cyclone piece, but this is now only a matter of time because you can easily take it out. Take it out. Very intuitive, very easy. And now the puzzle is solved. So we got the two Hanayama pieces down here, the two cyclone pieces up here. And this is the way how to get the pieces apart without any forcing or fiddling. For the reassembly, we're starting with the two Hanayama pieces. One facing upwards with the Hanayama. I hold it like here, Hanayama facing towards me. And the other piece, I have like the Hanayama facing apart from me, okay? And join them together like so. And this is very important if you would like to do it the same way as I'm doing it. Please double check if these pieces are same the, the same way as I did them. And I also did it wrong right now. So actually I don't want to have them like so. And if you join them the wrong way, you can just take them apart and put them back together again. The way I want to have them is opening here, opening there, and then Hanayama, Hanayama, the notches left and right. And this piece goes from the top left through here to the top right. Very important, okay? It's also possible to do it the other way around, but the assembly can be very confusing to follow if you do it wrong. So then I take the next piece, the cyclone piece, the silver one, and here it's also very important that you do it the same way as I did it. I will assemble them now with the Hanayama sign pointing upwards. And this piece here, this chamfer on this piece pointing towards me, okay? So I join it like so, twist this one around, Hanayama pointing upwards and join it right, join it with the next one, okay? So these three are all again back together. Now I take the golden piece and join it exactly in the same way. And this is very important, otherwise you, I think you can't get it together. Notch again, pointing towards me. Push it in here. Join it with the first piece. And now I use this notch here again, this time with this rip here on the outside, as well as with this edge here on the golden piece to create a necessary space to join these two pieces. And if I do it, correctly. Like so, then you can get it together. Okay. Now nearly all pieces are joined. All pieces are joined except the, uh, the two cyclone pieces. To do so, I get the notches again in the center. So this notch in the center that it can align with the golden piece again. And now it's very important that these two notches, I think they need to be on the upper side. Means this notch 
need to be here on the top side and this notch also not here hidden on the lower side okay I twist this piece also in the center and now same as before I align this edge of the golden piece with this notch I hope this is visible and I align this piece here the, the cyclone piece with the edge of this Hanayama piece the notch in here if they are aligned properly I turn it around ensure that the two pieces are properly aligned with the notches so now it's it's better now they are aligned and if I if they are aligned with the edges you can just lift it very easily and push it together okay and that's it pretty much so if I'm at this point I can just shuffle the pieces again as I want to make it difficult for the next one to solve this puzzle and that's it pretty much this is how you solved the cast cyclone an excellent puzzle very fun and very difficult if you solve it the first time you have quite the right idea to solve it from the beginning to somehow get these pieces in the center and take them apart like so but it's very difficult to execute in the beginning and to understand how you exactly need to align it because they need to be aligned very very precise there are also other ways and other orientations where you can get them apart actually when i solved it the first time i did it a completely different way but this way as i showed you right now is i think from my point of view the most reliable way and the most or the best way to execute it and do it as i mentioned before without any fiddling or any random moves you cannot remember later this way is a very good way to repeat it so let me know in the comments what you think about this video was it understandable do you try this puzzle yourself did you try my solution did it help you all things that are very interesting for me and also let me know if you would like to see me solving or showing you the solution to this excellent puzzle super difficult puzzle cast rotor that's it for today and until next time Keep on puzzling.